It's treat day. Look at what just arrived from Pierre Hermé. What is in here? Thank you, Pierre Hermé. We are going to have some fun today. Shall we check it out? So this is what we've got right here with this little box. Look at it. So one of the things that I love about this packaging is that it, right now it's very minimalist on the outside, but when you pull it out, check this out. It's so super cute. Look at, look at the little girl. Oh, aussi beau, aussi beau. Oh, so good. Isn't she cute? And on the side, you've got the name of the dessert. Gourmandise Raisonnée. Look at this, look at her right here. With her cute little legs and her, she's so stylish. Red socks, the ankle boots. The only reason she can be that cute is because she's eating these desserts, which are 30% less in calories. Thank you, Pierre Hermé and Frédéric Go for making these wonderful desserts. Let's open them. Okay, I'm opening this. Look at, look at, and you open up, it's like a cloud. Look at. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Look at this one. Now I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you each one of these things, what they are, but I just love the packaging. Look at that. Oh, so pretty. Gourmandise raisonnée. That's what you need to remember. There's four different types of desserts. So that way you can eat all four because they're 30% less in calories. It's a thing. just saw the first one, which was the vanilla tart. What is this one going to be? Bam! Ah, look at, this is the citron. Look at that. Look at the little fluffy guys on top. It's just so good. Look at that. Let's take them out. We will figure out what we've got in the street. Folks, so that is not marshmallow, although it's cut like it. That is just like your meringue that you would normally have on like a lemon meringue pie. All stacked up there, looking so pretty with the lemon zest. You see the sheen on the outside? That is just so gorgeous. So I knew what this was before I even opened the box. I could smell this. Check it out. Strawberry, for your strawberry lovers out there, this is called the Constellation. Doesn't that look so good? I'm gonna unbox right now. We're gonna, <laughs> I wanna just put it in my mouth and eat it. <laughs> Last one. What do you think it is? What are we missing from these four? The cat. These four. We are missing a chocolate one. Here is the ch Wow. <laughs> Yum. This is so good. 
look at that guy this is shoe or fail now shoe is a puff pastry it's like what you um, get with a cream puff right but they have reduced the calories in this recipe 30 percent i'll tell you all about it in a little bit but look at this guy it's just like stacked chocolatey goodness Hi darlings, so I am sharing with you next to the river with Emily and Janelle, who you now know and love, um, the new Pierre Hermé desserts. So this is the box right here. This is what they called, All right? I'll tell you, it's Gourmandise Raisonné. What this is all about is this is a collab. It's a collab between Pierre Hermé and Frédéric Beau. And they are longtime buddies. They were together at the famous Valcrona Chocolate, Chocolatier, down south, near Lyon. And they have partnered. I'm gonna show you these desserts. I'm gonna tell you all about them. This is part of our series of a healthy, <laughs> yes, even eating desserts, because you're in Paris, you're in France, you have to eat the patisseries. But these are the ones that you want, okay? Say hi! Chanel, Emily, it's so pretty. All right, here's your setting. We are underneath this gorgeous tree at the end of Ile Saint Louis, all right? And you guys have seen me. I, in fact, walk all the way down here. Remember we did saint jean Vieve over here? Walk down here all the way to Jardin de Plante, which is right there, okay? Now you guys know where I'm at. We've got a little setup here to share with you the Pierre Hermé. Super fabulous scissors. I mean, look at these. Just gorgeous. Now, I shared with you some pictures earlier of these, but I had to put them on the super cute tray, right? Look at this. The inside of the boxes look like clouds. Like, there you go. It's the clouds of Paris. The blue is almost the exact same color. And this is the packaging that the box comes in. Look at that. I also, also really love this. Look, so. This is the name that you're looking for, Gourmandise Raisonné. But it has this super, super cute illustrations on the outside that remind me of my own logo. Now, things that you need to know about this. You've got four different desserts, and I was telling you that, that it's a collaboration between Pierre Hermé and uh, Frédéric Bau, but what they're really wanting to do is take traditional recipes. These things should look familiar to you. They look like some of the patisseries that you see normally in France. And they want to reduce the excess sugar and fat and calories in each of the ingredients. And what they're looking for is not to remove the taste, not to remove the pleasure, the texture, the balance, but just make these healthier for you. How are they doing that? Now, I'm sure you'd like me to just ah, take a giant bite, but I'm not going to. This is shoe pastry, right? Cru uh, cream puff type pastry. But what they're doing with all of these dessert recipes is they're removing the butter and using natural oils, vegetable oils, like hazelnut oils, to add the fat in, but not all of the calories, which is amazing. It's so smart, so ingenious. The first one is this bad boy. This is the Tarte Infinement Vanille. So it is a vanilla tart. If you love the taste and flavor of vanilla, this is your guy. It is shortbread and without gluten, no kidding. And they've reduced the amount of egg yolks. Um, the flour has been replaced with semi-complete rice flour, cornstarch, 
potato starch. And normally this ganache right here, this top, where yeah, all that good vanilla stuff is at, is normally mascarpone cheese. If you know what mascarpone cheese is, oh my goodness, so much calorie and fat. And they've replaced that with skim milk, egg whites, and white, a little bit of white sugar, chicory fiber. And I just think that's really interesting. So there's your first one. Very creamy, airy, and we're gonna share with you, thanks to Emily, some wine pairings to go with these desserts. For those of you who love lemon, this is your guy, it's kind of like lemon meringue. You, it, the name of this one is Tarte Infinimont Citron, right? Because citron means lemon. Look at that. Now, very similar, right? They wanted to keep the classic lemon tart, that acid, bitterness, the original flavors, but the priority was making sure that while they do that, they reduce the calories about 30%. Um, they've got this uh, crunchiness, the sweet paste is made without gluten and this lemon marshmallowy top, you know, the meringue, super light and you get all of that lemony goodness without the extra calories and sugar. Now for those of you who are chocolate lovers like me, look at that. Now this is called choux or feo. And as we talked about earlier, choux pastry is your puffy cream puff type pastry. So you've got the top and the bottom that's cream puff, right? And you've got Piedmont hazelnut praline cream in there. <laughs> Let me say that again. Piedmont hazelnut praline cream. Um, but even though it's got chocolate in it, they use skim milk. They whip it up kind of like a whipped cream. And the shoe pastry is using hazelnut oil instead of some of the butters that you would normally have in that. And it really enhances the scent of the hazelnut. And you've got chocolate. You've got those Piedmont. It is just a chocolatey, hazelnutty, super amazing dessert right here. Can you believe that this is 30% less calories than a normal puff pastry? Last but not least, you've got this guy. I mean, just beautiful. The glaze on that and anybody that loves the flavor of strawberries is going to love this one. It's called the Constellation. And so it's an ode to strawberries in three ways. You've got kind of a sparkle to it. It's creamy on the inside. And you've got notes of orange, green cardamom, lemon, all within this. And then you've got also a little bit of honey and an olive oil cookie at the bottom. We will open these up, don't worry. We're gonna show you these. Just beautiful desserts. I'm gonna pan back show you the setting again look at this thank you pierre hermé for this sweet sweet treat and sharing with us how to stay healthy but still a little indulgent because what else do you do when you're in Paris? You've got to eat these amazing treats. Just gorgeous. So we are pairing this wine with this strawberry goodness. We've talked about the wine with Emily. Hi guys. Bubbles. <laughs> and Bubbles. Janelle's here. And we're gonna cut into this and show you guys what the inside of this bad boy looks like. And then we're gonna eat it, because we're really, we're, we're done staring at these things. These are like, just so good. All right. So, we've got the cookie crust on the bottom. Oh, can you see that? The pink? Look at that. I'm gonna do it this way. Just a nice little triangle. There you go. Look at that. Okay, now we're gonna try it. So good. <laughs> the 
Ooh, wow. I know, right? So you really do get the so this cookie right underneath here. You definitely get the sense of the olive oil. You can pick up the cardamom, the little bit of orange. It's Part nice. of this description actually says that it's just lightly sweet. I would absolutely agree with that. It's not overly sweet. No, not at all. Yeah. 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 And that strawberry yeah. really, really comes out too. Well, I feel like the, the sweetness comes from the strawberry. Yeah. That's rather a good than call. from sugar. Yeah. All right, so now you remember these two desserts. This one is the vanilla, and this one is the lemon. They're both that infinite amount, and they both have a shortbread, you can see it, shortbread cookie crust. If you can believe it, these are gluten-free bases. No, they don't, they're not allergen-free. They still have a little bit of dairy in them. And we have, thanks to Emily, a wine pairing. Ooh. All right, so what I chose for these specifically was a wine from the southwest of France. And this is the Mont Bazalec. And this is a sweeter wine. And it's affected by Beaujolais, which is a noble rot, which means we go through the vineyard two times to collect a specific berry that's been affected by this noble rot, which gives it this kind of sweeter quality. We always harvest them a little bit later too. And the reason I chose this wine is actually quite complex. It is a sweeter wine, but on the nose, we've got honey, we've got peach, we've got apricot, really fleshy. You've even got a little bit of grilled pineapple. But even though it's a sweet wine, it's also really high in acidity. So it's going to pair really well with these two desserts. It's going to add a layer of complexity at the same time for us. All right, folks, so we are going to open these guys up and show them to you. You've got the vanilla and the citron. This is like a meringue top. Like if you were to have a, you see how like sticky that is? It's just like a meringue, like a lemon meringue pie. go digging into the vanilla it's a nice crunch to the cookie base and we're going to open her all the way up for you there you go oh look at that yeah so creamy so good all right ladies let's dig in Do you want me to say so that? what you what were you saying emily about the, the lemon tart so what happened with the lemon tart in this wine specifically is it completely transformed to almost give us like an orange peel at the same time. And that's because of the different flavor profiles that we have in this wine. And then it's reacting to the, the lemon at the same time. Yeah, it's, it's so good. So, so good. And I love how crispy that base was. I'm just so surprised with how it was not soggy or anything like that. It, that gluten-free base. Oh, it's just crazy. Stay dense and beautiful. It's perfectly balanced. All right, folks. Here's the last contender. For those who love chocolate, this is the one for you. Because this shoe pastry has been replaced. The butter, which is always in the shoe pastry, is now hazelnut oil. And oh my goodness, the chocolate, it's not whipped cream, it's skim milk. So reducing the calories and making her extra nummy. <laughs> Let's dig in. Yeah, this is the inside of this guy. Look at how gorgeous that is. I mean, it is just like all the way back. Nothing but goodness. Can you believe? 30% less calories. That means you can eat like five of them. The retro, okay, so this is the cooked, the noir cooked Um And I chose this wine because this is 50-50 um, Pinot Noir and Chardonnay all perpetual reserve, meaning that the reserve wines are already dating back from 1980, so we've got a lot of complexity and layers that go into that the wine. And I chose this one to pair with our chocolate today. Um, and one of the reasons I did that is because we have the Piedmont hazelnuts that are going to pair really well with this. So we've got nice acidity, lots of structure, and the two are kind of, kind of complement each other. 